Okay, so today we are checking out uh, the Fujifilm X-T4. I just received it recently. I bought a kit lens, the 16 to 80, 80 millimeters, and also the um, vertical grip, the VG X-T4. I'm guessing this is the camera, and this would be the lens, and this probably the battery grip. So we'll put this aside for now. And we will have a look at the main item, which is the uh, Fujifilm X-T4. There's the card now, which I don't really need. I mainly bought this camera because of IBIS. Because the X-T3, uh, when you shoot it handheld, it's very, very shaky. And without a gimbal to do some cinematic uh, footage, it's a bit difficult. Let's not wait and open this first. So the first thing we have is this package with what looks like uh, the worldwide network, um, a pamphlet about the Capture One software and probably an instruction guide. Then we have this cushion, the battery has not been charged, okay, good to know. The specification for the camera. Okay, let's put this aside and then let's look at what's inside here. So, this is the Fujifilm X-T4. Then, what else do we have here? Put this aside. Let's first have a look at this box. Now it's from here. So in this box, as you can see, we have a strap to put it around, around your neck or your shoulder. Let's have a quick look. So this strap has the, the branding of Fujifilm. It's quite padded and feels a more higher quality than the one that came with the Fujifilm X-T3. Okay, let's put this aside, then we have this cable, which is a USB-C to USB-C, so this one is to charge uh, the battery and, and the camera itself. This year, Fujifilm didn't include a charger for the battery uh, on, the, on the X-T4 compared to the X-T3. So the only way to charge uh, the battery and the camera is through this cable, unless you buy a different charger. So this is the base for you to plug in the USB-C. Then we have this attachment in order to plug in to this part. Let me see how this works. Probably like this. Okay. So the good thing about this is that you can remo you can remove this. So in order to remove this plug, uh, you just simply press on this little button and then you can slide out uh, the attachment. So this is nice in case you are going to a different country and then you want a different adaptator if you have it. Then we have this cable which is a USB-C uh, to a mini jack. And finally we have a battery. So this year the Fujifilm X-T4 comes with a new battery which is, uh, if I remember, almost double the size of the battery of the X-T3. Okay, so that's all for this box. So now let's have a look at the X-T4, the main body of the camera. This is how the main, uh, the main body looks like. At the base of the strap on this uh, little metallic part, it comes with a uh, plastic thing in order to reinforce uh, the connection between the main body and the lanyard. Now let's have a look on the side. So if we look here, we still have the two slots for the SD card. On the other side, so if we open this, we still have a, a port for the, for the remote control and one for the microphone. So the one thing that has disappeared is the port for the headphone. Here we have the USB-C 
uh, port and then the HDM, the mini HDMI port. One of the main things I like about this camera is that if you see over here on the dial, uh, they have changed it. So the, we used to have the metering dial. Uh, they have changed it to the still and movie mode. So this is a good thing because especially when you cannot see your dial, let's say uh, you're vlogging uh, or you're facing the camera and suddenly you want to take a still, uh, you just simply have to uh, switch this dial. Uh, there's two modes, so it's simply it's simple for you to know whether this is still or movie. Compared to before, where before it is on the left side and then if you from a movie mode and you want to change to a still mode uh, it's difficult to know because you don't know which mode it is set at. Similarly on the XT3, Fujifilm kept the three dial. So here on the left we have the ISO, this is the shutter speed and then finally we have the exposure setting. Okay, so let's put up, uh, let's put the battery inside and then let's see uh, if it's charged so we can have a quick look. So it looks like that this is not charged. Maybe what I can do uh, is to charge this. So this would be here. So with this, it should be charging now. So the X-T4 compared to the X-T3 feels slightly bigger, uh, especially toward the grip side. I think this is a good improvement because it gives a better hold to the camera. One of the nice things that I like about the X-T4, uh, it's mainly the flip, the flip screen. So why this is nice, it's because if you want to vlog, you can turn the flip screen in order uh, to see yourself while you're vlogging. And the other thing is that uh, this flip screen allow more angle uh, than the other screen from the X-T3. So for example, if you're uh, shooting downward, you can still see the video. So this is nice, especially when you do this kind of video where your camera is on top, let's say like those tasty video, and then you want to see uh, what you are filming. So I have charged the battery for about half an hour. So let's switch on the camera. So the first thing you can see, you have to set up the language. So let me get the memory card and I will come back to you. So let me put one of these memory cards. let's open this now I would put one of the lens that I'm not using so this is the Surya anamorphic 50 millimeters f1.8 if you enjoyed the video leave a like if you didn't enjoy the video still leave a like now nah, I'm joking have a good day